Regarding the upcoming trip, you, as my daughter-in-law, should stay home. Thank you. I thought it was a penalty to travel with you, so that helps. Huh? Weren't you eager to go to Louisiana? Of course, I want to go, if you're not involved. What will you do if I don't go? We're the ones paying for it. That's the problem. How much did the lodging cost? How much did the meals cost? I'm still nagged about the Alaska trip we took three years ago. I just want to travel with my son. So why are you tagging along as well? It can't be helped, since my husband says he won't go without me. I wonder what's so good about you. He said everything. I'm flattered. Then, if you're not there for Louisiana next time, Tom will come either? I guess that's how it would be. Please enjoy your trip as a couple. Don't be ridiculous. What am I supposed to do alone with that old man on the verge of decay? That's terrible. The only thing that makes life worth living for me is going on a family trip with my son. I see. You're an outsider, so you're not family. That's why I'm saying that you have no right to participate in a family trip. Julia, did you know? Families are made by strangers. Shut up. I just get nervous when there are strangers around. Why don't you go with just your son? I've asked him many times, but he refused. If we're going, let's all go together. He's too kind. I'm kind too. I haven't told my husband that you're a terrible mother-in-law. Of course, you wouldn't. If you did, I'd beat you up. Oh, scary. Ah, uh, I wanted to walk through the streets of Louisiana with my son. I wanted to watch the flow of the Mississippi River with my son at dusk. The Mississippi River is full of couples. It doesn't matter if a parent and child go together. Well, you stand out. If you hadn't laid a hand on my son, he would still be single and by my side. Your son chose me. If you have a complaint, please tell him. He always had no eye for women. I wonder who would have been the right choice. A woman who flatters and fawns over me. I wonder if there's one. Well, it can't be helped. I'll take you to Louisiana next time, too. Do I have the right to refuse? No. Yeah. But in return, you hang out with that rotten old man. Because I'm going to visit the temples with my son. I don't mind, but would you stop saying father-in-law like that? It's fine. He's just a piece of furniture that has finished his role as a stud and an ATM. That's really harsh. Take care of booking the accommodation and arranging the bullet train, okay? Me? You're not paying, so at least use your hands and head. Ugh. Julia, where are you now? I'm on the train. Really? Enjoy the trip with the family only, Anna. You stay and clean the house. You left me behind? Operation successful. It's so easy, I'm laughing. Your father-in-law left earlier to meet his university friends, right? That's right. Tom is planning to join directly from his business trip. Exactly. It was a plan that I and your mother-in-law would take the train, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. You have the ticket to Louisiana. I did it on purpose. You trapped me. Now I can enjoy a family trip without you. I smelled something suspicious when you said, 
I'll take care of the ticket because you can't lose it. It's useless even if you chase me out of your own pocket. I only reserved for three at the hotel. But I reserved for four. I called the hotel and changed it. One room for me and Tom. Grandpa in a single room. Tom may not like it. He won't. I'm sure he'll be happy. He might even give me a shoulder massage after a long time. He might get angry when he finds out I'm not there. At that time, I'm going to pull sympathy with a tear-jerking episode of being bullied by my daughter-in-law. Don't say things carelessly. I fell in the front yard three days ago and have a wound on my arm. I'll pretend this was done by you. Please stop. That's it. With this wound, I should get a medical certificate and go to the police. Huh? That makes you a mere criminal. Even Tom would divorce such a woman. Then he will come back to my home. Do you love your son so much? Of course. He's my precious, precious only son. Don't you want to see your grandchildren? If there are grandchildren, they will become more lovable and the love for Tom will decrease. Then he would surely be jealous. Oh no, I can't stand it. It's too absurd. Well, that's how it is, so you just munch on rice crackers at home. Julia, I have a question. What? I'm in a good mood now, so I'll answer anything. You never want to accept me as your daughter-in-law, do you? That's right, you understand. Even if Tom rejects that? I'll persuade Tom. He's always been a good listener. Last question. Are you serious about all this? You're not just excited about the trip. Of course I'm serious. A daughter-in-law is an outsider. Traveling with an outsider is painful. That's why I eliminated you. This is my answer. I understand perfectly. I will leave. Really? Yes. Oh, I'm so relieved. I'm glad all the effort I put into bullying my daughter-in-law paid off. This is your victory. Congratulations. I'll have a toast today. Please drink as much as you want. It's going to be a good day. Please take your time. I'll be back the day after tomorrow, so just write the divorce papers. Excuse me. I've already arrived in Louisiana, darling. I'm sorry for leaving you at home. You mean Florida, right? What are you talking about? I've been saying Louisiana all along. That's right. Enjoy Louisiana to your fullest. What do you mean alone? I'm going to meet my sons. I don't think you can. What do you mean? No, you'll be fine. Take care. Wait. I know you're curious. Just say it properly. No one else is going to Louisiana, so I was just a little worried about what you're going to do there all by yourself. Huh? That old man arrived earlier. That's a lie. Tom's business trip is also a lie. What do you mean? Just that. You tricked me? Who tried to trick me first? Please take some time to think about it with your empty head. I didn't tell anyone about this plan. You did call the hotel, didn't you? When you changed the reservation for four people to three. Are you saying the hotel contacted you? No, it's not that. Your father-in-law heard that phone call about the reservation change. Did that old man snitch on me? Yes. He called me as soon as he found out you were trying to go to Louisiana without me. That jerk. When I told Tom about our Mississippi River date, he said EW and couldn't stop gagging. How sad would it be to go to Louisiana, where he couldn't even stand the thought? That's why we changed our plans to Florida. Why are you leaving me behind? 
That's my line. What about the hotel? We have reservations for three. No worries. Everything has been cancelled. What? Even mine? It's a lodging that refuses single guests, so there's nothing we can do. It seems they refuse because the price per guest goes down when there's only one. Where am I supposed to stay then? You're at the station now, right? There should be plenty of hotels around there. Am I supposed to go to the Mississippi River alone? Visit temples and shrines alone? What about meals? Well, do as you please. Are the other two in Florida? Yes. You wicked woman. Do you enjoy doing this? This is nothing but bullying your mother-in-law. Just because you hate me doesn't mean you can go this far. This was all your father-in-law's idea. Huh? Your father-in-law knew. He knew that you were calling him old man and a decoration behind his back. Why? Because you've been spreading it around outside, he couldn't help but hear it. So what? Despite working hard for the family all his life, and even now working on a contract basis because his pension isn't enough, his money just keeps flying away on trips and dining parties. And on top of that, he's treated like a nuisance and complained about. He wondered what his life was all about. What's that supposed to mean now? He asked me if it's too late to start living his own life, and my husband and I were encouraging him, saying that it's absolutely not. You mean... Are you talking about a late-life divorce? Huh? Congratulations on the birth of a 67-year-old unemployed man. We sincerely congratulate you on your new beginning. Stop it. I don't want to work. I guess you can't just go around Louisiana elegantly from now on. It's said to be the last gift from your father-in-law. Please enjoy it. What about Tom? Is he not heartbroken to see me like this? Not at all. You're lying. I want to talk to him. Tell him to pick up the phone. It seems like he's blocked your calls. He also blocked you online. Why? Mom, it's me. That's not fair. Stop blocking me. I didn't know until today that you were bullying Anna. No, it's the other way around. I was the one being bullied. I even thought about going to the police because I was physically hurt. I saw that line too. All the exchanges until now. Huh? Unfit wife. Bad cook, childless pig. I can't believe you could say such horrible things. This is communication between a mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. Anna was also quite back talking, so I was enjoying it. That's not true. If I don't turn it into a laugh, it just becomes stress. And if I do that, it would worry you, so I fought back moderately and vented. She's not that kind of sensitive woman. In fact, Anna is going to a psychiatrist and taking medication. Your stress is causing abnormalities in her body. I was shocked because I didn't know. That's a lie. Just because you're laughing doesn't mean you're always well. She talks normally, but she's just suppressing the symptoms with medication. I'm truly ashamed that I didn't notice it as a husband. Don't be fooled! Anna was trying to restore the mother-in-law and daughter-in-law relationship to normal. But she gave up on it after this incident. So we're cutting ties with you, Mom. No! I have nothing more to say from my side. Wait, stop blocking me! So that's how it is. You're only getting Tom's attention because you're pretending to be sick. We should have done this sooner. I haven't taken my medicine today, but I'm feeling really good. Maybe it's because my stress source is far away in Louisiana. What kind of sick person would say such a thing? Just because you have depression doesn't mean you become silent and stop speaking. Every time a line message from you arrives, every time my phone rings, I feel nauseous. The thought of being free from that makes me feel lighter. 
Are you really planning to sever ties? Yes. Tom is also applying for a transfer to move. Where to? Well, but Florida is a nice place. It wouldn't be bad to live there. I'm going to. I'm going to Florida too. Please give up. We won't see each other again. I understand. I deeply regret my actions. I was rude to my son's wife. I sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart. Are you shaking too much because you don't want to say it? Your typos are terrible. I apologized. You can forgive me, right? I'm sorry. We want to live a peaceful life as a couple, and so does your father-in-law. We can't do that with you around. Why? What did I do? If you don't understand, you can find the answer by going back to the beginning of our line conversation. Please, don't abandon me. I'm going to Florida now too. Please go ahead. Wait! The next day, local news in Florida reported that an elderly woman was arrested for disrupting business at multiple hotels. She was shouting bring out my son and allegedly hit an employee who tried to stop her. It's troublesome how some elderly people behave. We enjoyed a lot of delicious food in Florida. After we got home, my father-in-law left a divorce notice and went on a trip with just a backpack. It's been my dream for a while, he said with a smile. He looked a bit cool. We also moved to a certain place. It's a secret from her, but it's surprisingly the number one digital camera production site in America. It's a funny feeling 